Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to Unparalleled Universe for another action figure review. And today we're taking a look at something that I am very hyped up about. What we have here is the brand new Jada Toys Street Fighter 2 Fei Long. And I'm very excited about this line. Jada Toys did such an incredible job with the Universal Monsters. I just know they're going to do a great job with Street Fighter. And I'm just very excited to see what they do with this. And you know, I'm not like the biggest Street Fighter guy. I like Street Fighter quite a bit. It was definitely something that I grew up on. And I have collected some of the Street Fighter toys throughout the years. But more recently, there's been some great Street Fighter lines that I like and I would like to get into, but they're just a little too expensive. SH Figure Arts and Storm Collectibles are doing some incredible stuff, but I just don't like Street Fighter enough to pay the prices that those figures cost. That's why I'm so excited about this line, because I would love some Street Fighter figures, but I'm not willing to pay $80, $90. But for $25.99, I am all in, and that's what these guys are gonna cost. So I think that's awesome. And from what I've seen, these figures look freaking amazing. So I'm just very excited about this. But let's go ahead and get right into it, starting off with the packaging. As you can see, the packaging is freaking awesome. <laughs> it has like this arcade design. Over here, you got your like health levels. You got some buttons. You can see the figure through the window here along with the accessories. Down here, we get some really cool old school looking artwork. On the side of the box, we get some more artwork. And we get a look at Vega. And who else is there? What's this guy's name? T-Hawk or something like that? Uh, yeah, man. Hopefully they get to them. On the back of the box, we get a look at the figures in Wave 1, Kung Lee, Fei Long, and Ryu. And then down here we get the graphic where, you know, <laughs> it's like where you could select your character. So I'm really excited to see what other characters they do. They've already shown off Wave 2, so we know what they're doing, you know, in the near future. But I can't wait to see what they do down the line, how deep they go and all that. And then on this side, we get some more characters. Looks like we have Ryu, Fei Long, and Kami. Is that her name? But yeah, man, this box is so awesome. It's so creative and it just looks cool. So I'm definitely going to hold on to this. I want to find a way to display these boxes. Hopefully um, I could get the figure out without like messing up the box or anything. It does look like it's collector friendly, so that's cool. But these boxes are so awesome. But enough about the pretty box. Let's go ahead and get Fei Long out and take a look. So based on how much I enjoyed the Universal Monsters from Jada, I had really high expectations for these Street Fighter figures. And I've got to say... Fei Long completely destroys my expectations because they did such a great job. It is so much better than I thought it was going to be. And I already assumed it was going to be an amazing figure. But I did not anticipate the figure feeling as good as it does. This doesn't feel like a $25 figure. Like just the feel of the plastic. Everything about it feels very high quality. The joints are very tight, but everything still moves smoothly and without resistance. Nothing feels like fragile or anything like that. It's just a really high quality feeling figure. He's got pinless joints in the knees and the elbows. Super well sculpted, some paint detail in there. I'm completely blown away by how good this figure turned out. And you know, this character has a very simple design, you know, so there's not a whole lot going on. But man, they absolutely destroyed it. This thing came out amazing. This is gonna be like ultimate hand candy. <laughs> it's gonna be hard to put this figure down. Like, man, I cannot believe how good the figure feels when you're posing it around and just everything about it, man. It's like, damn. So right off the off the jump, I am super impressed with this figure. Damn, this thing is crazy. But let's go ahead and take a look at the details. Even though there's not a whole lot going on, I think Jada Toys did a good job of sculpting detail where it was necessary, you know. But man, I, I'm so happy with the way he turned out. And then as far as the details go, I think they did a really good job with the paint and the sculpt work on Fei Long. Even though his design is very simple and there's not a whole lot going on, I think they did a great job with everything that was required for this character. So I'm happy with the way he looks. Starting off at the head, the head sculpt looks very accurate to the way he used to look in the video game. So I'm happy with that. The facial expression is crazy. He looks super pissed off. And then he does have the crazy eyebrows, which I like quite a bit. <laughs> and the hair looks pretty good too. It's very well sculpted, but I do wish there was a little bit of paint work in there just to bring out all the nice sculpting that they did. But it still looks pretty good, so I'm happy with the head sculpt. And then moving down into the body, I think they did a great job with the sculpting on the muscles. And I love that they put a little bit of paint wash in there to bring out all the details. And just make it not look so plain, you know? Just adding that little subtle paintwork into the muscles really can make a sculpt look a lot better, you know? 
So I think they did a great job with that. Look at all that. You could see all the muscle definition because of the way they painted it. It looks really cool. And the skin tone is nice too. So, And then moving down into the pants, there's not a whole lot going on, but I think they did a great job sculpting them. As you can see, we have some texture in there and some wrinkles and stuff, and it looks really good. And then as far as the shoes go, they look really nice too. And yeah, so again, not a whole lot going on. The design is pretty simple, but I think that Jada Toys did a good job on everything that they needed to do. So I'm very happy with the way he looks, especially the upper body. I think the paintwork they did on the upper body looks really good. That subtle paint in the muscles really brings out all the details and I think it looks awesome. So and then as far as accessories go, he does have some pretty cool stuff, including two different heads. Um, both of these heads are pretty nice. This is the first one. It's the one that we've already looked at. I think this is a cool looking head sculpt. The alternate head sculpt is very similar, except on this one you could kind of see his teeth and the facial expression is slightly different. Um, I do wish that the head sculpts were a little bit more different from each other, but still, I like the fact that he came with two different heads and then he does come with two different sets of hands. First off, we have a pair of fists and then we have a set of like martial arts type of hands. These things are awesome. And then he does come with this really cool looking flame effect for his leg. I really like the way it looks. It's a very cool color. You've got like a translucent orange and yellow going on. And it's very soft plastic. So you could slide it right over the leg with no problem at all. And it looks really dope. Especially if you get some like light under it or something. You can make it look really cool for photos. But this is a very dope accessory. All right, so now for some size comparisons. Unfortunately, I don't have any of the SH Figure Arts Street Fighters, nor do I have any of the Storm Collectibles, so we won't be able to see how Fei Long fits in with them, but I will compare him to a bunch of different lines, and hopefully there's information in there that'll help you determine how he'll look next to other Street Fighter lines, you know? But I do have some Soda Toy Street Fighter figures, so we'll be able to see how he fits in with them. And starting it off, here we have him alongside the Soda Toys Ken and the Soda Toys Vega. And man, I'm kind of surprised to see how well he fits in with them. He looks really good alongside these figures. Obviously, he's way better. These guys are super old. They still look amazing, but the articulation is kind of old school, you know. Uh, but man, I'm really surprised how good the Jada Toys stuff fits in with the Soda Toys stuff. That's really cool. And then here we have them alongside the Soda Toys M. Bison and the Soda Toys Cami. And man, M. Bison looks awesome next to Fei Long, but I cannot wait for Jada Toys M. Bison figure. That thing is gonna be amazing, especially if the articulation is at the same level as this Fei Long. And all these Jada Toys Street Fighter figures are gonna go onto a video game shelf for me. So here he is alongside the Thousand Toys Master Chief and the brand new Jax Pacific Mario from the Mario Brothers movie. And then of course here he is alongside the Marvel Legends Bucky Cap and Marvel Legends Pizza Spider-Man. And then next up, we have him alongside the Marvel Legends Daredevil and the Marvel Legends Shang-Chi. And I remember back in the day, a lot of people used to use that Soda Toys Fei Long as a base for a custom Shang-Chi figure. Um, so I think that'd be kind of cool to do with this guy because the articulation on this figure is way better than it is on the Legend Shang-Chi. Um, and, you know, it's kind of like a very similar look with like the no shirt and then the pants and stuff. So it'd be kind of an easy custom. And then here we have them alongside the Marvel Legends Spider-Man, the animated series inspired Spider-Man and the Marvel Legends Renew Your Vows Spider-Man. And then here we have them alongside the G.I. Joe Classified Storm Shadow and the Fortnite Victory Royale Sky. Here we have them alongside a Star Wars Black Series Imperial Stormtrooper and a Power Rangers Lightning Collection Red Ranger. And then here we have them alongside my custom Marvel Legends Black Panther done by the homie Artwit Toys. And then on the opposite side, we have the 20th anniversary Captain America with the custom head sculpt by Casting Cave. Then if you want to get some Marvel vs. Capcom going, here we have them alongside the Revil Tech Cable and the Mafex Gambit. And for the final size comparison, we'll go big. Here we have them alongside the Soda Toys T-Hawk and the Soda Toys Sagat. And the articulation on this guy is pretty damn ridiculous. There's a whole lot of good stuff going on here. He's got a lot of points of articulation. And not only does he have like a lot of articulation stuffed in there, all the joints work really well. It's really easy to get him into great poses. Everything moves very smoothly. And he's just a whole lot of fun to play with. I'm having a blast messing around with this figure. It's very hard to put down. <laughs> but yeah, let's go ahead and see what we have going on, starting off at the head. So he does have movement at the upper neck and at the lower neck. So using both of those, we get some really nice tilt side to side. And then obviously he can look left to right as well. 
Then he could look up to about right there, which is pretty good. And then he could look down to about right there, which is good. So yeah, really nice movement at the head and the neck. I like what we have going on there. And then at the torso, I love what they did here. So he's got a diaphragm cut and then a ball joint at the waist. But if you lean him back a little bit and look down here, like at the lower abdomen, you could see that like they have a little U shape in there or like a little notch so that he could crunch forward just a little bit more. That is awesome right there. So using both these joints, he could crunch forward to about right there, which that is ridiculous. That's crazy right there. And then it could go back to right there, which is pretty nice. You get some nice side to side movement. And then you can twist at the waist. You could kind of twist at the diaphragm, but it's a little tight. But yeah, this crunch forward is pretty damn crazy. Look at that. And then you could lean side to side and just kind of go in all kinds of different directions using both of these joints. But yeah, man, great stuff at the torso. And then for the arms, he's got these really nice butterfly joints. So you could get his arm to cock back like a really good amount. Or you could get his arm in front of him really nicely too. Like he's throwing a punch. And, you know, the head and the neck kind of help with that too. You could get in close with his, with his face and make it look like his arm is even, even more in front of him, you know. So it all works together really well. Look at that. Boom. That's awesome. Get this arm back a little bit. Man, really nice butterfly joints here. And it's funny how like the head and the neck articulation could, I mean, improve the quality of the butterfly joints. <laughs> it's kind of a weird thing to say, but it's true, you know. Yeah, man. And then he does have ball joints at the shoulders so his arms could go all the way around oops there we go his arms could go all the way around then you could bring his arms up to the side to about right there and it's not very it's not like super tight in there so you don't have to worry about the plastic scraping or anything when you bring his arms up so that is really good to see and then he does have upper bicep swivel he has double jointed elbows that get a really good bend. Look at that. Boom. And he has a swivel at the wrist and then a hinge at the wrist. And then for the legs, I really like what we have going on here because this piece is like soft plastic. So when you're moving the leg around, you don't have to worry about like this piece leaving marks in the leg, you know, because it's soft. So it's not like two hard pieces of plastic colliding with each other. It's a soft piece here. And, you know, you could just move the leg up and you don't have to worry about scratching this or anything so that's crazy because you can move his leg up a crazy amount and this is before even like really bending the torso at all you do that and bend the torso it's like ridiculous look at that that is crazy man then you could get his legs out to the side a really good amount and he doesn't have drop down hips or anything, but the fact that this piece is soft, it just really frees this up and allows his leg to move freely without a whole lot of resistance. Man, that is crazy. So really good stuff there. And then it could even go back because all that area is soft. Man, I don't know. I don't know if that's like a nat. <laughs> I don't know if anyone kicks like that, but maybe. It's ridiculous, man. Crazy stuff here. And then he does have upper thigh swivel. He has double jointed knees. Bam. They get a pretty good bend. Look at that. And then he has a lower leg swivel. He has rocking ankles. And then his feet could go forward to here and then up to right here. So yeah, man, like I said, the articulation on this thing is ridiculous. Check this out. Look how much you could he could crouch. You could almost get him into like a Spider-Man type of crouching pose. Look at that. That is crazy. Maybe able to get him 
<laughs> Look at that. That's crazy, man. Just want to mess around with them just a little bit. Yeah, but like I said, the, the best thing about this figure is the fun factor and the articulation and just how much of a joy it is to handle. It is ridiculous. Look at this. This is better than like some Spider-Man figures. <laughs> Crazy stuff, man. But yeah, as far as the articulation goes, Jada Toys <laughs> absolutely killed it. I hope that all of the Street Fighter figures are this articulated. Look at that. Crazy, man. I'm so happy with the, the articulation on this guy. It, it's ridiculous. Alrighty, so overall, at the end of the day, when the smoke clears, the dust settles, and it's all said and done, I think Jada Toys absolutely killed it on this figure. This thing is freaking awesome. And like I said at the beginning, I had high expectations for this line because of how much I like their universal monsters, but Fei Long has come through and completely shattered my expectations. This thing is way better than I thought it was going to be, and I, I assumed it was going to be awesome, but I didn't think it was going to be this awesome. I knew it was going to have good articulation, I knew that it was going to look good, but the thing that I wasn't expecting was the high quality feel. This doesn't feel like any type of figure that you could buy at this price. I feel like this is one of the best quality figures I've seen like around this you know, price point. So they really have something special on their hands that they could keep this price because these things are amazing. And these are going to be a really good option for people that like Street Fighter but don't want to get into those expensive lines but don't want to sacrifice quality. Like, this is this is perfect for those kind of people. That's kind of where I fit in. So, yeah, man. I'm so happy with this so far. I hope, man, if all the figures in this line are as good as this, geez, they're going to be they're gonna be running shit because it's crazy how good this figure turned out. And I can't wait for people to get this in hand so they could be like, damn, you're right. Because I know I'm going kind of crazy with it, but I'm just really, really impressed with the way this turned out, man. It is so good. And I do have Ryu as well, so I'll be reviewing him uh, pretty soon. I'm not too sure when, actually, but yeah, man. I, I hope he's as good as this. And I hope they get to Guile. I don't think they've announced Guile yet, but he was my favorite character when I was a kid. So I would like to see them uh, tackle him because it'd be crazy to have a Guile as good as this figure. But man, I really love this figure. It came out so good. It's definitely going to be... Uh, a pocket figure for quite a while because he's so much fun to play with like it's it's really hard to put him down and huge thank you to the folks over at jada toys for sending these out to me to take a look at man you guys did such a great job on these uh, I'm, I'm very grateful that you allowed me to take a look at these because it, it, these are special for sure and with that i think that's it thank you so much for watching please be sure to like comment subscribe and all that good stuff also be sure to hit the bell notification so you know every time that i go live if you're not aware I go live every Tuesday at 7 p.m. and every Friday at 7 p.m. So come through. Let's talk about toys and get weird. Thank you very much. Peace.